Hello viewers, this is Oliver here with a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and commentary. And this commentary is going to be a little bit about the game, a little bit about some other stuff. Uh, the game I'm using, I think it's the Scar Silenced, so not, not too fancy. The silencer on this game is, it's so good. The silencer doesn't really take away too much damage, just like... In Modern Warfare 2, most of the, the, well, at least the last two Infinity Ward games, I can't speak for COD 4 because I didn't really play it enough to know, but it seems like the Infinity Ward games, you get more of a bonus for using a silencer, and there's not, there's not enough drawbacks, I feel, to using a silencer in Infinity Ward games. Now, maybe I'm the only one that feels that way, but that is how I feel. So... In this game, I'm not going to be going for the objective as much as I'd really kind of like hope I would normally, but in this game, also, recently I just decided, you know what, Modern Warfare 2 is not the kind of game that I'm going to be able to win every match for my team. And God knows, I have some bad players on my teams. So, I've decided, you know what, if I can't get any good players or if I'm not playing with like people in my friends list or people that are gonna try to win then what's the point in me trying from now on I unless like I just said I'm playing with a party I'm just gonna go for kills and try to get my guns leveled up and such my uh, account Sudi Cupola um, which I used some for uh, la, what should we call it open lobbies on infected uh, so some of you know that account, some of you I'm friends with on that account, but that account is the one I'm going to eventually be prestiging on and such. So that account, I've, in the last like 15 matches, I think I played 15 matches today on that account, maybe more like 10. Every single one of those matches I got a 2.5 or KD or higher playing drop zone and not going for the actual drop zone. It's crazy. I mean, I go for a little bit like... Right here, you can see, it's not like I'm just sitting on the opposite side of the map. Like, I'm getting some points for it for my team. But what I'm what I'm kind of doing is, it's like the Slayer rule. You kill as many people as possible going for the objective. That way, your team doesn't have as much trouble holding them off by themselves. So, you could say this is team play, but I don't really consider it team play. But... That's pretty much the majority of the actual gameplay I'm going to be talking about. Now what I want to talk about is our channel in general. Our channel, um, now that I have, now that I know how to use the Sony Vegas editing, it's a lot nicer and easier to make some of these videos. So you'll probably start seeing, eventually, once I get like a stockpile of videos that I can upload, you'll be seeing probably a commentary or at least a video every day every well usually every night I usually upload them during the night because when you upload it messes up your internet makes your internet real slow so now watch this right here I think this is the one wait for it wait for it one two three four five yep five piece <laughs> with the stealth bomber the skill bomber right there five piece skill bomber and man this game can be fun, but I w why I ended up stop playing when I was on that stretch of doing so good is I got into, all of a sudden, a couple people joined the lobby I was in, and all they were doing was sniping. And to me, sniping does not have a place in a game like this. In Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty, there is no place for sniping. On maps, especially on Modern Warfare 3, where... The maps are not extensive enough to need a sniper rifle to get somebody across the map. When there's uh, the single shot, the semi-auto M14, there's the tri-shot M16 and the Type 95. Those guns are great at long range. There's no need for sniper rifles in this game, especially when they're mainly used to quickscope and use cheap tactics that, well at least tactics I consider cheap, because you can't stop it. It's one of those deaths that you get that's not your, like, you couldn't have prevented it. Unless you, like, uber, super jump, drop shot, corner, etc., etc. I mean, you just can't prevent it. 
when you turn a corner and somebody just wham, bam, quick scope, how can you stop that? You can't. And like I'm, I'm stealing this line from Woody's gamer tag. The the number one like sin, the thing you can't do in first person shooters is have deaths that weren't your fault and that you couldn't prevent. And I totally agree with him on that. That's why I feel like, may, yeah, you should maybe keep snipers in the game, or maybe what you should do is make quick scoping lobbies, make lobbies where all the only thing you're allowed to use is a sniper rifle, and not just not just like a sniper rifle. Oh, and you can have a secondary as a FMG9 dual wields or something like that. No, just a sniper rifle. Now tell me, everyone would every sniper would probably like that. I would like that. That'd be less snipers in the actual game, or the games I'm playing, than normal lobbies. But, um, so yeah, that that would be a great way, I feel, to solve my hatred of sniper rifles. And another thing I dislike about this game is the secondaries are too powerful. You saw right there the, what is that, the MP9, I think, secondary I have silenced. It's, it's just as good as the PP... Oh, excuse me, I burped. It's just as good as the PP90 silenced, which is unbelievable because that, that should never happen. There should never be a secondary that's more of a lethal gun. Not, I'm not going to say lethal, more of a viable option for a, your main weapon than an actual main weapon, primary weapon. I mean, yes, FMG9s... They shoot very fast, and you have to have scavenger and run around and get the scavenger packs just to get, like, five kills in one life with them. But the MP9, man, you you can run around. It's got plenty of ammo. It takes maybe half a clip to get a kill, and it's just as good as a primary submachine gun. So this, this was a little commentary just about the problems of this game that I think they need to fix, and that is all I have for you now. I will see you guys next time and I don't know what kind of game will be next so see you guys then